Carrying on with Flash and Scaleform, we're going to take a look at how we can apply a Flash material and change its text like we did before uh, on an object inside of your scene. So I'm Colin, and I'm here with Philip. Hey, guys. And we're going to get to it. It doesn't take very long, so it'll be a pretty quick video. Yeah. What we want to do is first grab our cursor and select the Designer menu and drag in a Designer box into the level. This is the object we'll actually apply our menu to. What we'll do is open the material editor, drag it over to the screen once again, and create uh, the new material. We go into libs, UI, call this absolutely anything, menu sample, it will do just fine. Uh, then change the texture type from 2D to dynamic 2D map. This is required in order to load uh, flash assets. Dot UI. Exactly. So what we do here is specify which UI element to load. So keep in mind that this is the name of the UI element and not the GFX file. Then simply apply that to the object. And here we go. The object then renders whatever comes from scale form, which is perfect. Exactly what we want. If we go back to flow graph, we'll see that we're still changing the text to CryEngine on game start. And if we press play, there we go. It changes CryEngine a bit cut off as in the previous video. But that's literally it. That's all you need to do in order to apply a scale form texture to an in-world object. Excellent. I mean, that's as easy as it is. And uh, like we said, it was pretty quick. So thanks for showing that. And uh, we'll carry on to uh, possibly coding in another video.